Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn, and let's get started. In this video, we're going to discuss the degree of a vertex and what that means. We're also going to learn how to determine the degree of a particular vertex and what the significance of that might be in the context of the mathematics behind the Google search engine. So let's get started. First of all, the degree of a vertex is defined to be the number of edges that meet at that vertex. So here we've listed all of the vertices and we're gonna determine their degrees. Vertex A is interesting because notice that no edges actually meet at vertex A. So that means that the degree of vertex A is actually zero. Now let's look at vertex B. The number of edges that meet at vertex B would be one, two, three, four. So the degree of vertex B is four. How about vertex C? Vertex C is the location where three different edges meet. So it has degree three. Vertex D only touches one edge. So D has degree one. What do you think would be the degree of vertex E? If you said three, you're correct. Good job. And of course, vertex F has degree two. We have one more vertex, so vertex G. Let's count the number of edges that meet at this vertex. One, two, three, four, five. So vertex G with a degree of five has the greatest number of connections to other vertices. In the last video, we talked about how the Google search engine uses the mathematics of graph theory to rank websites. In that context, we use the vertices to represent those websites and the edges represent the hyperlinks that connect them. So in a Google search, website G would have an advantage because vertex G has a degree of five, meaning that the website represented by G has the greatest number of connections to other websites. This would increase its ranking. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video. You can also subscribe to my channel, Miss Hearn Mathematics, for more math videos. And I hope you get to watch the next video in this series. It'll be in a playlist called graph structures, and we'll be discussing the sum of degrees theorem.